Hello, it's Thomas WR Stories and more. And today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video, which I won at an auction. If you guys didn't know, Shop Goodwill has a has an app where you could buy buy things and buy things like right now or buy it in an auction. And and it works for pretty much any Goodwill. So yeah, I'm gonna get right to the unboxing. You can see. It's a lot of stuff, so we could start with the first item right here. First off, we have a Percy 2001. I mean, really good condition. For its age that it has. Next up, we have another Percy. This is from 2003. As you can see, it's cold. Cold Dust Percy T2003 Very good condition For its age Next up We have Let's see if I can find it A better for you Gordon it's, in, it's a really good condition I don't know if it comes with with the little wall display, but we'll see right now. Next up, we got another 2001 Percy. This one is is in fair condition, given it given its age. Then next up, we we have Fletch. This is probably from Chuggington. Probably not gonna keep this, but we'll keep it there for now. And then we have police car, which I don't know what brand that is. We have Ben right here, really nice condition. This is from 2001, I believe. Let's see if I can show right there. No, 2003 actually. Then we have, we have a Rusty, which I don't have yet. Nice to have my collection. You can see it's a really good condition. Another, another unclean video is gonna be how to, how to restore or touch up the paint around the edges, or even restore it in general. What years is from? This is from 2001. Then we have, oh my, my first Thomas, of this version. This is a early engineer's Thomas, as you can see with the big wheels. And it's very tall too, so what year is this? 2003, it's not bad. Next up, we have this train, or this coach, I mean. I don't know what brand that is, but definitely not keeping. Now it's 2000, this is probably 2002 or 2003, 2003 Thomas. This one doesn't have the little stripes. I'll, I have a lot of 2003 Thomas, which they already have stripes on. Then we have mud covered Thomas. First one I ever had. Unique facial expression. Then we got Spencer's Tender. Oh no, Spencer's included though. Oh, then we got the, then we got a, like a box car that's birthday themed. I'm definitely gonna keep that. Then we have another Gordon's Tender. Don't know which one goes for the better for Gordon. Then we have another passenger car right here. Then we have this, this caboose that's in really rough shape. And a 2012 Emily. So you can see with the CGI face that it has. In really nice shape. Oh, we even got her tender too, so. 
This is the first TJI Emily I have because I had the 2003 version. Then we got a, a Tiffman milk tanker. This is dated. Like 2000 or 2001. Then we got another Percy. Guessing this is this is 2001 too. So it's not three of them over there so far. Oh, then we got a cement mixer. I actually have the the other one that goes with Rusty already since I bought in a lot. So the collection videos will be coming up soon. Then we got this train. Probably unbranded. There's no like Brio logo. Then we got Diesel 10. It's in 2001. Definitely gonna keep another Diesel 10. Then we got this another up brand train right there. Then we got, we got Butch. Soda or heavy recovery unit in really nice shape this is the first one i ever have so this is gonna be a great addition to my collection next up salty this one's this is like in fair condition again this is from 2000 2003 definitely not gonna keep that one because i already have one that's in nice shape then we got Ivo Hue. I have one of these, so I need to decide which one I'm gonna keep. Is already because I don't need too many replicas. Then we have Duncan. Definitely gonna keep this one, and definitely gonna restore as well. Next up, we got a James, 2012. As you can see the CGI face. I could definitely touch up his eyebrows, the paint on the roof, and the and the bottom bottom as well. Next up we have the flatbed. I have the I have the crane that goes with it, which is the breakdown train. So definitely gonna be complete now. Next up we got this another off-brand train. Really rough shape, as you can see with all the rust that it has. Then we have another off-brand train. It's not a real brand because it's not really wheels or nothing that indicates it. Oh, well, next up we got a blue barrel car, which I don't have yet. I only have the purple versions. Then we have the coach. I might not keep since. since there, there's some that I already have in my collection. Next up, we have Sir Handel. 2000, 2002 actually. Next up, we have... Next up, we have a water tanker. This one's in really rough shape. The liquid still, some of it's still there. You can see, maybe you might do a restoration on it, or maybe restore with something else. And then we have another off-brand train. I'm not gonna keep. Then we have a like a type of truck. Don't know what brand that is. Then we have Toby. This one's 2001. I think I already have couple of these already so I have to choose which one I'm gonna keep then we got salty do you can see it's a replica because there's no there's no like there's no brand of the Thomas Wooden Railway learning curves definitely not gonna keep but then we have we have Dodge this is from the Magic Railroad. 2000, 
2001. It's in really good condition, given its age. Then we have Splatter. Don't have this one yet in my collection either. This is nice to have. Then another off brand train. Then this, this random train. Another one too. Then whatever this is. Oh, the lamp. How am I using my remake? And that's it for the for all the trains that were included. This is a good amount as we add to my collection. And shout out to shout out to Chicken Pot Pie for for the idea of the way he laid out his his collection on his two hundred sub special room tour. Out of the Thomas Clemens Breakfast, James Goes Buzz Buzz, and a Better View for Gordon, and then my limited edition ones right there. As well as the coat hanger. Next up, we have more more bikes as well. I opened every all the trains that I opened up just right now. They were all in that bag. Now we're, we're gonna open the rest up right here. As you can see, I We have this beautiful, beautiful bridge that's not Thomas Brand, but maybe my keep or maybe my cell. We'll see what happens. Then another, another bridge. I personally like the blue one. That's just my opinion. So we'll just leave those to the side. Then we have, then we have more, more stuff in here see what this is and as you can see you can see a lot of a lot of stuff in here. a ton of tracks even a v-switch these are in really nice shape, actually. I think I might keep these. Then we have one more, just one more bag left. Just open this up and see what we find. Yeah, as you can see, a lot more crap. Oh, it's a lot of track I got. Pretty much almost takes up the whole play table right there. A ton of opera and tracks. My keep, just in case. And here's all the trains that I got too in the building. So that that was that was all it for this unboxing video. So see you all in the next video. Yeah.